politically incorrect, Bill Maher. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you for waiting. All right, let's read our panel. He is a rapper, actor, and comedian performing at the Funny Bone in Evansville, Indiana, September 12th through the 16th, and he is my very good friend, Christopher Kid Reed, ladies and gentlemen. Senor. Sorry to keep you. No problem. <laughs> Am I here? Yes. There you go. I am here. She is a New York-based freelance writer and currently working on the documentary Counting on Democracy. Faye Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Welcome back, honey. Thank you. Thank you for coming. He is the CEO of The Row Records. I think that used to be Death Row. Now it's The Row Records. His new CD is The Dog Pound 2002, available in stores right now. Shook Knight, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Good night. How you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> He's rocked and rolled all night and partied every day as the front man for KISS. And his new magazine out next year is Gene Simmons' Tongue. Gene Simmons, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all right. Look at that already. Look at he grabs it. We had a discussion backstage. Well, you don't want to hear it. All right. First of all, I would like to uh, say I'm sorry to the uh, studio audience here for waiting. One of our guests was very late. <laughs> I was having a house party. Uh, <laughs> and when it happened... <laughs> what is it with being on time? Shook, Shook told me to say that. So I just... <laughs> everything cool. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to press the point, but very well, late. Let me just say this. we got to get shook. We're not going to do any we're scared of you jokes, right? We're, not right. we're just going to talk about stuff. I'm scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> and and that, please and, do not pull that tongue out Yeah, again. after that tongue, I think this, this beautiful lady is scared of you as well. <laughs> well, not quite. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hello. One more time. Hey! Oh my God! Hey! Hey, that, that, that's that's pay per view. That's pay per view. That ain't. Pay me. That's pay per view. It's like a monitor lizard, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, people are like, is that the Discovery Channel? Yeah. Or is that politically incorrect? Okay. Anyway, uh, here's my first question. Uh, I remember uh, during the uh, riots of '92. Remember the riots? Remember the riots? Uh, there was a lot of stores that said black owned because they put that on the store saying to the black residents of the community, look, this is black owned. You know, don't burn down our store because we treat you right. You know, we treat the black man right, black owned. But in show business, I mean, all my <laughs> friends complain about BET, Don King, you, <laughs> Russell Simmons. It just doesn't seem like, at least in show business, that when it's black owned, they treat the clients the way the clients want to be treated. They seem to, from what I hear, rob them even more. <laughs> Mike Tyson got out of prison. He said he was broke from Don King. Uh, BET, there was that open letter in Variety. They all complained about Don, uh, about uh, Robert Johnson. Uh, what's going on here? What's with black owned? Well, every, everybody's a little hesitant. Look. Nobody ever talks about the white guy who raped and pillaged throughout the recording industry world. You're talking about just you about... Everybody yeah, talks well, about well, that well, guy. No, hold on, hold on. <laughs> there are no white-owned stores. There's none of that kind of stuff. So a bad guy is a bad guy. I don't care where he comes from or, or how he talks and what he does. The difference is that if you get caught, you do the time. A lot of guys who are in business I today... It's <laughs> true. A lot of guys who are in business today simply haven't been caught. Well, I don't think it's about being caught and doing anything criminal, but you said the operative <clears throat> term is they're in show business. These are business people who are making business decisions, and what they are asking is why should they be held to a different standard than their well, white let me, counterparts? Let me say this. First of all, you've got to understand this. Dealing with the music business, there's not too many record labels that is black-owned. Because they're on a record label, you've got to own your masters, you've got to own your catalog. Russell Simmons is on, Def Jam is owned by Universal, so if they blame Russell for robbing them, they might as well blame Universal or Polygram because that's who owns it, first of all. 
And second of all, I mean, for with my situation, if you look at when it was Death Row Records, yes, black owned, it was owned, but if you take the 60s, music business started in the 60s and the 50s. It never was a black record label. The minute it became a black record label, that's when everybody started saying, you're getting a messed up deal if you're on a black label. I think it's real wrong is you shouldn't have to, if you grew up in Compton and you got a, a, a gangster rap and tape in Compton, you shouldn't have to take it all the way to Beverly Hills to put it out. The minute we start putting those out, they want to say, we robbing our own. But at the same time, you look at Jeff O. Records, the face, <laughs> coming down, slow down, Sorry. it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> you know, see you two minutes, face. But Air Stop Fist, being okay, stepping okay, right. <laughs> Air Fist, Air Fist is a record label that owned the face. The face had a, a artist, Tony Braxton, went bankrupt. Uh, TLC went bankrupt. Nobody said anything. Death Row Records have artists who was household names who never had a record out. Sure, the and nobody yeah, went but bankrupt. The yeah, same thing. And with, uh, is a problem. Yeah, and this is the thing. Wait, wait, just, just to jump, just to jump in, you mentioned Don King. I mean, it, it kind of all coincides. I'm not, I'm not a Don King apologist or anything like that, but it's kind of uh, on the point that you were talking about. First of all, boxing promotion, if you take that instance, was a nasty, sleazy, low-down, dirty uh, 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 procedure long before Don King always stepped was. up into it. Always has been, always will. Don King stepped up, saw how they played the game, got in there and started playing the game better than those who had played it before him. And when then you all say sudden, better, you mean that he robbed more? Well, I, well I, I'm just saying this, and I think that... Well, unless unless uh, perhaps, because that's perhaps, really what it is. But that, that goes to the point, more. But that goes to the point that you were saying, saying, hey, judge them saying by saying the same standard. Exactly, think about hey, the art. But one of the things oh, i got to say is this. If you take Don King, and the guy said, well, I never had nothing. And Don King made me fifty million dollars, but he robbed me out of a half a million dollars. Which, well, well, damn, I don't mind getting robbed if you robbed well, me out of yeah, half a million dollars. Oh, but if you Don made me fifty million dollars, yeah, but like Don King would only rob you of half yeah, a million dollars. Yeah, but listen, listen, listen. Look, look, I've but I've heard boxers say this. Look, it's so easy. I feel like I'm Don King's publicist, but it's so easy to blame things on Don King. All right, it's the, it's Don King that robbed me. It's not that I have a hundred cars. It's not that I got fifty hoes. Why? It's Don King. Fifty okay. what? You're a black comic. Why fifty are all garden the, tools. Why are all the black comics? So upset about BET and the, the way they were treated on BET, you don't see them saying, yeah, "Oh, but Phil, it's not a, it's not a fit." Look, let's agree to two things. One is there are very few black-owned businesses, good, bad, or otherwise. That's that's true. Hold on, let me just make the other point. The other point is because of that, there's going to be a lot more attention. Period. Nobody ever turns around and says. You know, the president of Shearson Lehman was just indicted on so and so, and it's the white owned business and of so on. Of course they do. Yeah, no, no, no. But nobody makes a point of the race part of it. It's they just don't. sort of assumed. Come no. on. Michael Milken goes that's to the, jail. They don't but, say, but they don't say the white, white guy no, robbed. White guy. Yeah. Correct. They hold on. Say. I'm not, but I'm not, I'm not upholding Milken or anybody else. If you get caught, you do the time. There are good guys and bad guys. The unfair, but hold on, but the unfair, uh, it's not a fair plane because there are good guys and bad guys both sides, okay? any side. The point being, however, is because there's very few black-owned businesses, there's a lot of attention. I don't, it's not I don't, a fair I don't think it's field. so much black and white in the music business, it's young and old. Because the older guys is looking at it where they start this game first, they're going to give you the same messed up deal you always have, and they're going to continue to do that. Well, not and the young deal. And, right, and the young guys looking at it, we're trying to get in this business, we're from the ghetto, we're off the block, we want to have all we want to do what we do. So you can't turn around and say it's, 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 it's black and white, but when it's some people just think white people wife is colder than black people wife. Yeah, it's but, but it, it is. Mentality. But as far as the as far as that thing is concerned, it feeds off of the it's notion. Like, like like your show. You know, you can have a show. You can well, say what you want to say, yeah. and you hear. Uh, so you all have a show. The first time you had a fair kind on there, he was out of there because you know I can say we will because you white, and, and, he's black. You know, it's a difference. Yeah, they, they, I mean, there's, there's, all there's a lot of different things that come into play. He handled Arsenio because he had Farrakhan on him. No, I think, I think he's probably going to get killed anyway. Farrakhan was over there, so you know he was out of there. Look, but I'll say this. I'll say this. I'll say this. Have, having, no. having been in the recording industry, look, you can get robbed by anybody, okay? The okay. recording industry in and of itself is a bad thing. I mean, you hear legends about Suge Knight. Suge Knight did this. Suge Knight did that. You know, I don't. You know, I may not have a problem with with certain things that he did. I mean, I heard Vanilla Ice. I don't have a problem with that over the day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I don't have. I don't have a problem with that at all. I don't have a problem with that either. I, I don't have say. a problem with that at all. In fact, right. if I could hold him out of a window, you know, I would too. Would that I could. Would that I could. Yeah. But the thing about it is this: no one created these industries, be it the recording industry, the boxing promotion industry. I mean, you you know that you've done shows and stuff for years. 
it's a sleazy thing. The, the underseam of the entertainment industry is very sleazy and nasty. It's Nobody not, invented it. It's not it's here not. at ABC. First, I have to take a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, brought to you by Mitsubishi Lancer. It's been one week to look at me. Try to get rid of the side of I'm angry. Five days to laugh at me. Say, yes, I can't ever come back and see me. Yesterday, you've forgiven me, but it'll still be too late to lost them, sorry. It's allergy season again. Where should you turn for relief? Benadryl? Or the leading prescription? It may surprise you to know. Medical studies prove histamine blocking Benadryl to be a full 54% more effective than the leading prescription. 54% more effective at relieving even your worst allergy symptoms like runny noses. It's a real eye opener, isn't it? Benadryl, proven 54% more effective. The way that I show that I care about you is by giving you my opinion, which you perceive as nagging. But the way that you show that you care about me is by not sharing your feelings thereby giving me freedom by not saddling me with your opinion. I mean, isn't that obvious? Who's got a little mustache? Who's a little mustache man? Who's got a furry little mustache? Is it you? Is it you? Who's got a furry little mustache? Who's a little mustache man? Is it you? At least he's not naked. A new season kicks off. The Giants aim to tackle the prize that escaped them last season, while the Bronco running backs plan to carry Denver to the top of the heap. Giants, Bronco, Monday Night Football at 9, 6 Pacific on ABC. Duck, you spray poisonous chemicals. You set dangerous traps, and you pay an exterminator every month. But those stubborn pests just keep coming back. Not anymore. Introducing Pest Chaser, the sonic pest repeller that sounds like a jackhammer to pests, running them out of your home for good. Watch, these rodents are enjoying their new home. But look what happens after we plug in the Pest Chaser. They run out and away. Amazing. Satisfied customers know rodents, fleas, roaches, ants, spiders, and flies are no match for the Pest Chaser. One Pest Chaser protects an entire floor of your home, apartment, or condo. Plus, it's safe for the whole family, even your pets. Look, exterminators can charge $30 a month. That's $360 a year. But you can have the Pest Chaser for only $19.95. Call now and we'll include the Pest Chaser All-Natural Insect Repellent. It's fresh-scented, safe, and effective. Yours free. Your satisfaction is guaranteed. Order now. Call 800-697-2377 or visit us online to order your Pest Chaser and receive the insect repellent free. I'm just going to just say one thing in defense of the record industry. It is not a terrible business. It's a great business. Here's why. Good, bad, or otherwise, they give you a ton of money, a truckload of money. You never have to give it back. It's called an advanced, non-recoupable against, I don't care how many records you sell or don't sell. There is no other business on the face of the planet that does that. You know, Even with see, they get creative on you. They get creative on you. That's true. They get creative on you and charge you for things you should never be charged That's true, but the initial advance but also, you get... Also, you got you to understand this. It was a thing to call distributor. You got that's who put all your all your all your CDs, all your tapes, all why, your stuff. Why, why so you got to you got to have you got to have your distributors, and the distributor used to be seven. Now it's like down to four. So before you start picking on record labels and saying what the record labels doing, you got to understand what the distributors doing. It's about distributing the music, putting it in the stores. If you don't have that, what do you have? It's true. That's from the a, from a record did. label's point of view, if the record he's companies a point. are so great, why are there so many lawsuits? There are people. Suing you, right? Absolutely. Uh, no, is it Snoop? Who? Everyone's suing everybody. Well, one, one of the things you got, well, some of the, some of the guys is what you call. You got to be educated. If you don't know how to read and write, educate <laughs> is the key. Even if the kids are looking, listening, you got to know how to read. If somebody gives you a contract, read it. Just on the, you know, comprehend what you what you sign it. That's the most important thing. But see, a lot of guys think if they if you get them ten dollars, they think it's a free ten dollars. They want to go. And get it. the women want to get liposuction, nose jobs, uh, ribs taken out, 
titties put in, butts put in, you know. Then they want to turn around and say, that costs $100,000, why should I pay for that? Because it's you. You wanted that. The record company didn't want that. You wanted that. You wanted big boobs all your life, so you get Yeah, but by the same time. At the same time, you know, don't blame it on when, once, once you get cold, don't blame it on the record company. See, one thing about it is you have your choice. Either you want the fame or you want the fortune. Some people just want to be famous. They just want to be, they just want to do a video. They just want to dance. They just want to sing. They just want to rap. You know, if you, be, if you want to be on the business side of it, you could be 75 no, years you, old. That's, no, but that's I'm fine. I'm still going to have a rock But by the you same token, the record company will also tell you that you have to pay for the packaging of the record. You have to pay for all these other mechanical costs of the record right. that have nothing to do with, with the blood, you know, sweat, and tears of making the record. And that part of it isn't fair. I understand what it you're saying, but by the same token, it, 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 it doesn't work. Record, what, it depends on what record company it is. It, it, that's true, too. Every record company is not the same. You know, one thing you got to understand is this. I started off. From, from nowhere. I didn't start off on third base and thought I hit a triple. A lot of guys was born rich. So, you know, for in my situation, I'm from Compton, so I had to get to the ballpark to play. And I'm so, like you. I was yeah, born in Israel and couldn't speak your language. Exactly. And so I had to learn at nine coming. years of age. You're right. right. Everybody, everybody, everybody was born cheating rich. cheating other people. No. Or Every, continuing a slave mentality and making other people your slaves. The slave mentality. Y'all brung us here, right? What happened? <laughs> I said, the slave mentality. They brought us here. We didn't have to come. I know. Now we're here. Now we want to play the like, game. <laughs> Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton, they're always talking about the exploitation of the man. I'd well, like to hear them hold a press conference and talk have, about the exploitation. When you're trying to judge oh, them all harshly, oh, then, then you judge the white counterpart. I think it's unfair <laughs> because it didn't begin with Don King, Barry Gordon, But maybe it got worse. Think about, no, it's absolutely You don't think John King? Think about Little Richard and the problems of R&B artists from the 40s and the 50s. I mean, they were cheated. What, what you have when, when people they put were. on their they careers... Were they were legally cheated. They, you're well, right. They, and then today, they're still legally cheated, they're, they're, but they're, they have unequal there is, bargaining there is, positions. No, you're right. Listen, I'm, there is such a thing as legality, and then there's morals and ethics. Unfortunately, morals and ethics are not entirely the same thing. So everybody has to do their own due diligence. Unfortunately, the more educated are going to have an, an advantage when they talk with uh, somebody who's uneducated. And if I want you to sign over the show right now where I can own all the masters, and there's nothing wrong with that, Bill. You should be able to do that, and I should be able to own everything. And, okay. and I'm sure oh. before the night's over, you will. <laughs> yes. No, but... I mean, and if you sign that... It's it, called it, show business. It's a deal. Right. Everybody, exactly. everybody knows the show part, but people need to learn the business this part. Right. God help us if you two ever got together. But it's not my fault if you did No, 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 that's true. And one thing, one thing I'll say, one thing I will say about, about the people, the, 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 the CEOs, like, like a Suge Knight or like a Master P, or people such as that, I'll give them a little bit even more credit. Same. I don't do no dancing, and I don't do oh, no okay. rapping. Right, we, you but made you know, right. I don't, I don't you want you to put me in there. Right, the category. Right, but what I I'm like those guys. Right, so. but what I say is this: <laughs> I'll, I'll give them, I'll give them a little bit more credit than maybe their white counterparts in terms of because of their street credibility, they can at least reach into the street and pluck somebody out. Like you said, you gotta, you gotta do a whole lot till you even get to the dance. Uh, you guys like Suge, be, be it be it Master P, okay. be it the Cash Money crew, they do their thing, uh, and at least they reach back. They can pluck somebody up. What they do after that is another thing. What's, so, right. what's, so what's so good about hip-hop as far as rap music? You got to understand this. It's, a, it's an opportunity to give more jobs. If you get one rapper, he's going to get five of his homeboys and get them jobs. Five of his homeboys going to get three of his little homeboys jobs. Before you know it, you got ten jobs. Regardless of security, regardless of being a rollie, regardless of just hanging out with, at least you giving out. Well, that's what the that's what the so Republicans what, call trickle down economics. <laughs> right. okay. We keep all right. the money, and well, what what we drop, the little right. crumbs we drop, but, but I, I you have, can have. But I have I mean, a question. When the Republicans do it, I'm, I'm going to get them. But at, but at the, at the same time, is. You, it's, it's an art okay. also. I'm, I'm curious. I, I, you gotta, can't... I gotta make some money of my own. All right. Sorry. 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 Shut it up. Join us next week on Politically Incorrect when our guests will include actress Vivica A. Fox, actress Marley Matlin, actor-comedian Tommy Davidson, and recording artist Judy Collins. Clarendon goes to bat for Mike Piazza. Mike Piazza doesn't worry about sneezing. He doesn't worry about a runny nose or itchy, watery eyes. Because Mike knows that just one Claritin relieves all those things for 24 hours. Without making him drowsy, Claritin has a low occurrence of side effects such as headache, drowsiness, fatigue, and dry mouth, similar to sugar pill. Just a walk in the park. Talk to your doctor about Claritin.
Get just the look you want at the fall sale. Our entire apostrophe collection is now 30% off. Only for a short time. Only at Sears. Where else? Call Domino's now and get a free order of our delicious cheesy bread when you purchase any large one-topping pizza for $9.99. Who would come up with such a brilliant idea? My idea. All mine. Make it a meal with wings and a two-liter Coke. Get the door. It's Domino's. My name's Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. Now on DVD, the Forrest Gump Special Collector's Edition. This two-disc set contains over two hours of special features. Forrest Gump. Now on DVD. Buy it today. A man approached me. He told me that the U.S. government might be interested in talking to me. All he told me was that I fit a profile. Alias ABC Sunday, September 30th. Are you sick of struggling to remove unwanted hair? Then you need OnLev Hair Removal, the amazing breakthrough that not only removes unwanted hair, but helps keep it from growing back. Look, wax and sugar pulls hair. Razors make hair grow back faster and thicker. But OnLev is a natural lotion enriched with vitamin E that removes the whole hair, including the root, with no pain. While its amazing hair inhibitor gel helps keep it from growing back, you'll never have to shave again. I used OnLev two months ago, and my legs are still smooth. I didn't even have to shave on my vacation. And unlike wax or nads, OnLev removes short hair. Even tough body hair is no problem. Days later, the side that used OnLev is still smooth. Look, OnLev is more effective than all of these products, and they don't come with a hair retarded gel. With OnLev hair removal, you'll never have to worry about unwanted hair again. But wait, call within the next 10 minutes, and you'll also get our facial hair off. Remove facial hair for weeks, a $20 value free. Not available in stores, so don't delay. Order the OnLev removal removal system today. Dry. Yeah, I'm coming down. Here we go. We are talking to you. That's big. Bing, 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 bing. It's a revolution of the spirit. I didn't know that's what it was, but we're having one. Another love connection. <laughs> you on the show. No, Bill, I was just going to say that uh, Sugar and I were talking just, you know, when... Oh, I know. No, no, nothing like that. Just the basic idea that no matter what we're talking about, the guy that has the advantage is the guy that's well-educated. So record companies and artists who take the time yeah. to realize it's more than show, there's a word business that comes afterwards, right. it's not just a phrase, the right. more due diligence you do, the fairer shake you're going to get. Can, can I ask a question? I have, I have a question. I, I, I don't interrupt. I'm, I'm curious. Chug, I want to ask you a question. I know with Death Row Records, now it's the Row Records. Everybody's interested in what you're going to do next. We want to, people want to know who you're going to sign. I have a suggestion. Me? No, I suggest <laughs> your, next, go, your next rap <laughs> sensation. Your next rap sensation could be ex-president Bill Clinton. Uh, you know, I like yeah. that. I like yeah, Bill, I, you know, Bill in there. Yeah, no, no, he has all the know, qualifications. Hey, what's, the, what's it about Bill? We got two things in common. You know, we both like cigars. I love smoking cigars. And we can do that other little thing. That, uh, no, no, he's sure. The thing is, we know he's we know we smoke me weed. Me and you or you and Bill? No, no, me and you. Uh, me and you, but oh, I don't get out like that. It's cool, but you know, you know. <laughs> no, I always felt that Clinton had all the qualifications. We know he smokes weed. All right, he loves skanky white women on the side. Right, we know that. Right. He wants to move up to Harlem. He's always in trouble with the law, right? I, he's prepackaged. He mean, can be the old, dirty, white I, bastard. Uh, Bill, is your... <laughs> Bill is our first black president. All right. <laughs> Sign him, Shug, before it's too late. I, I know what your uh, other artists were like. I know what you used to do. And I've asked this question before on the show. What happened to the old happy hip-hop? You know, the throw your arms in the air. How did, what is that? What did that mean? They, become, still, I, they still throw their arms in the air. They just tell them to throw them up, raise them up with a gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they still no, no. I, mean, I don't, you know what? I don't buy how did, how did How did Kid and Play get to be assault and battery? Where did that, I mean. <laughs> You know what? I don't, I don't necessarily agree with I, I think that even oh, in time... No, no, wait, wait, listen. This is what I'm saying. I think that in certain times, just like, just like other forms of music, music evolved, certain things dominated a certain time. If you're talking about the early to mid-90s, gangster rap ruled, it dominated. But even within that, the, one of the biggest records of that time was Whoop, There It Is. If you look at all the acts that are at the top of the charts right now, <laughs> look at them. Well, but no, right yeah. now, but now, look who's on the top of the charts right, right now. Lil Bow Wow, but Lil you... Romeo, Nelly, Missy, 
Puffy. Puffy ain't hard. Yeah. We know yeah. that. Okay. Right? Hmm. <laughs> All right. Now, so where... Uh, right. Yeah, well, but, you know, the gangster rap been in prison for about five years, you yeah. know, but now it's a, diff it's a different era. I think there's nothing wrong with gangster rap because on the simple fact that the guys are telling about what's going on in the ghetto. But see, a lot of these vets who used to be gangster rappers can't go to the ghetto anymore. You got guys who are talking about cops who haven't been a cop in 12 years, so naturally it's going to be watered down a little bit. But the 18-year-olds, these kids who are still in the ghetto, they still hardcore. They're not trying to be hardcore. They're talking about what they see what they saw and what they done. Can if I you want to change the music, right. you got to change the music. Can I just offer one thing before? Neil you... Diamond's at the forum in a couple of weeks. We're all there. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. going to go down. What's our song? You're what's down. down. What's our song? <laughs> what do you mean, what's our song? No, no, the song, uh, uh, too, Gone Too Soon. Oh, <laughs> right. I played Everybody, Neil Diamond. You know, we've been, That's gay. We've been, talking <laughs> for the, we've been talking for the longest time about black music, which is now hip-hop and so on and so forth. This is white bought music. The people that are making right. all these records go are white boys named Sven from Ohio. Okay? Right. So if anybody has any problem, it was always that. It, it was you, always that. So wait, I'm, not, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna not support to cut you. Cut you off, but I'm cutting you off. One of the things is this: if you take, let's like, say, you take a record label like Interscope, if 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 you take a black-owned company talking about gangster rap, talking about violence, talking about what's going on, they have a problem with that. I get I get sued, not to pay money, to let my guys. Uh, have freedom of speech. If you get a, a white rapper and, it, and he's in his own Interscope because Interscope owns him, he can say whatever he wants to. He can talk about raping little kids, killing little babies. Right we're talking about that minute. There's no problem. Right. So it's, no, so, I, it's not so much about the culture sure. of it, it's I, about money, it's business. True. But Bill, to answer I your question. I gotta do some oh. business to myself. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, come on. Yeah. So it all comes down to this. In the waning seconds, a field goal will decide it all. There's the snap. Good hold. The kick is up. It appears to be long enough. And it's quickly upright, right down the middle. Oh, that's as pretty as it gets. An absolutely perfect ending to a perfect day. It's been one week to look at me. Saturday on ABC, it's North Carolina, Texas at noon, Michigan, Washington at 3.30, and Notre Dame, Nebraska at 8. What a girl wants, what a girl needs, whatever makes me. These are the songs kids are singing. And now they're all together on Kids Box. Kids Box, 30 of today's biggest songs made just for kids. Newly recorded from the Kids Box Kids. Hey now, you're not song. You'll go crazy for Kids Bob. We can dance to this music all day. This is one CD that the kids and I can listen to together. This music really gets me pumped. You'll never stop. Here's how to order. To order, call the number on your screen. You must be 18 or older to call. Hey. What's that? Morning mix. Hmm. Sex pieces, cranberries, raisins. You know, I had an idea to invent something like this. Really? Was it as good as your idea for the remote control toaster? Much better. <laughs> well, this has fruits and nuts. I had fruits and nuts, too. I had a different name, though. Dave's Good Stuff. <laughs> Introducing Morning Mix, a grab-and-go bag of crispy Czech cereal with sweet raisins, tangy cranberries, and almonds, all mixed together. How long did it take you to think that one up? New Morning Mix from Czechs, breakfast to go. All right, the Dog Pound 2002, Shug's new offering. On Monday, we have Vivica A. Fox, Larry Miller, Pat Cadell, and Cindy Mosteller.